All right, guys, we are out here in Tullahoma, Tennessee today working on the wood for the bed. Today we are with Mark here with some beautiful white oak. Obviously, you guys know on these trucks, the boards are not the same size or length. On the long bed, we've got to get to 97 inches. So we've got a real pretty white oak here. Looks like he's already got one of these, a couple of these down to three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna take the lumber that's rough cut from the sawmill, um, and it varies in length when a bandsaw cuts them. Uh, sometimes that bandsaw can wave a little bit, so it needs to be planed down. We'll plane it down uh, to make it just under over three quarters of an inch. Then we'll run it through the belt sander or the drum sander and get us a nice finish. We'll put the routered edge on each of the pieces and uh, that way, uh, a channel like this one hopefully in better shape can, can fit not obviously not this one because we're not going through all this trouble to reuse it, it looks like that one got used it takes a while uh, to go through and get down to thickness but you got to be real careful because when they come out of the sawmill when they dry sometimes they'll cut or uh, warp and that's why you want them thicker plane them down to what you actually need after they've dried and so actually we got lucky because mark must have a uh, you know, some sixth sense because he's had this wood curing for how long? About six months? Six months. I bought it about six months ago and it's been just air drying uh, from the mill. It was soaking wet when they cut it. Well, I've known we were doing this truck for four weeks. So this is why you have friends that do woodworking people. <laughs> uh, this is not a super easy thing unless you know what you're doing. So we will get started, show you how we do it. So we're planing this down right now, and uh, on these trucks, what do we need to get to? About three quarter? Three quarters of an inch is what we'll use. And so we got one or two more passes. We're taking about a 16th or a 36th, uh, a 64th. While we go, we're just being very gentle with it, taking very little, because a hardwood, this is a straight blade planer, so it doesn't cut nearly as well. So we gotta be really That's good though, gentle. this wood will be really tough. Yep. Each of those pieces of wood was cut over the size, the dimension size, so where we needed seven and a half, we rough cut them to eight inches. Now we're gonna rip them down so they're the right dimensions, seven and a half, five and a half, and four and a half. And that way, once we uh, router the edges for the channel, mm -hmm. we'll already be at the right dimensions. And this, this varies for what truck you have, you know, what bed slats, but those are the sizes for the standard long bed fleet side for a uh, 59. I want to do it in two passes. I'll make it an eighth of an inch bigger. That way I can flip it around. And if there's any curves left in the board, I'll be able to take them out on the other side and get this nice straight edges. In Getting the blade set here. What are we looking for? We're looking for 530 seconds. And this is going to be the channel cut where that sits in and gives a little bit of. So I can expand and contract some. Yep. That's a minty piece right there. So once we remove an eighth of an inch of this, this will sit down and it should be flush to the top. We have got all of our seams here uh, routed at the appropriate depth. We ended up going with about a, what would you say, 2 16th instead of 1 16th? Yes. 
Well, it's one eighth. One eighth now. Um, now Two we're getting ready. So that's firefighter mathematics. Hey, I was not a math major. So, getting the belt, the drum sander ready here, actually. And we're starting with, you said, 120? 150. 150, and then they go up to 210. And uh, we'll start shoveling them through. Got a pretty gnarly little crack right here. So we're gonna put CS glue, otherwise known as super glue. You put it in a hole, and then this is activator, it will instantly make it get hard. You can put super glue on one piece of wood, activator on the other, and when it touch the two of them together, it's done, it's all over. So now that you've done that, and I only did that because there's a hole on the back side, so I don't want it to go through. Now we're gonna take a little super glue, put it in a hole, take some of the sawdust out of the dust collector, we'll pack it in there a little bit. And this is probably a, a wood purist would say that's too big a hole to fill. We're way beyond pissing off the purist on this truck, that's so. That's what I'm saying. Now a little super glue in here. We're all about what works on this channel. <laughs> and like I said, the wood purists are guys who are building, you know, super tables and pianos. They, things they don't use. I mean, you know what I mean? Not the back of a three quarter ton pickup truck. That's right. Now scrape a little of this off. And now we have wood that is the same color. The super glue bonds it all together. Activate it so it's rock hard. And then we'll run it through the sander real quick. I just want to make sure it sets up so it doesn't gum up the Belt. sandpaper. And then that big old knot is mostly filled. Needs a couple of little touch-ups, a little bit more fine sanding. And you fill it up with super glue and sawdust, and it'll match. Boom. So especially when you're putting a clear coat on it. Very handy to know. 